is the right to have children important for young girls and women with disability. I think we should be able to have a, a child if we want to have a child. And we all have the desire and dream to, to love a, a little child. We might need extra assistance, but doesn't mean that we're going to be a bad mum. I think we, if we look after the child, just like we look after ourselves, I think we'll do a mighty job. I think every woman has the right to have a child if they want to have a child, even if they've got a even if they've got a disability. The right to have children is important for women with disabilities because, like every other woman, we deserve the right to decide if and when we want to have children and have access to technologies to help us become pregnant and access to, um, again, um, means for not becoming pregnant. And we also need to have decisions based on our um, capacity to parent to be based on our actual capacity rather than just you have a disability therefore you won't make a good parent. It's important that they have a choice if they want to have children um, and not be in a position where somebody makes a decision uh, for them not to have children. Women and girls with disabilities deserve the right to access every part of life and this is a quite a natural part of life for lots of women. Um, of course there are some women that don't want to have children and they deserve to make that decision as well. But um, lots of women, I think when I've spoken about it to other people, just feel like they don't have the right to make their own decision when it comes to having kids and they should be free to make that decision whenever they want. They should be supported within that. Well, I don't have children, but to me, I reckon for people with a disability in women should have children and the Aboriginals as well, should keep their children not to be taken off them and that, and just to be equal like anybody else out in the world. I want to be able to get married and have children. To have a voice that can be heard and to be listened to. Well, look, I, I believe it's important um, for, you know, everyone has a right to have um, children and to have a normal life, irrespective of their background. So I, I think with the right support, with the right education, this cohort could um, raise children and um, I don't believe anyone has the right to take your right away. Like myself being deaf, um, no one has the right to take my right away. And, I think that I have the right to have children. Women and girls with disability have a right to found a family, to have children, because we are human. We're just the same as anybody else. Um, and it's important that we have the right to decide for ourselves. And that right is taken away from us time and again by manipulations by others, by um, women and girls being subjected to um, sterilisation um, simply because we have a disability. But this attitude of ignoring our right to found a family has led society to deny women and girls with disability the right to an education about our own bodies and education about sex, um, educations about safe sex, reproduction, um, and education about our rights over our body, and has led to society just ignoring that part of our existence entirely. 
I think it's more the right to choose whether we want to have children. Because that's a choice about our own bodies. Some women want to have children. Some women don't want to have children. But all women should be allowed to make that choice. All women should be able to choose who they wish to have sex with. To choose what kind of birth control they want to have and be educated on their birth controls. And they should choose whether they want to keep their child. And they certainly shouldn't have their children taken away just because they have a disability. The right to choose to have children is a choice we can make. We shouldn't be excluded from that because of disability.